friends welcome to my channel creative art my name is nilima and today in this video i'm going to show you all the clay modeling tools and the different kind of clays we can use for clay modeling as well as all the uses of the tools okay on the left you can see these are the plastic tools which is a set of total 47 pieces i have bought this from amazon online which total costed me 5.99 rupees you can also buy it yourself i have given the link in the description box below so to buy it please check down the description box below and the second tools apart from that which i have bought online were modeling tools and set this is a set of eight tools on which both the sides there are different shapes which is very useful for clay modeling and i'll also show you the clay i have used in different videos the first clay i'm going to show you is shilpakar clay from fevic this is non-sticky it contains 50 grams of clay and it is worth rupees 15 and the second clay i use is a nara this is air hardening clay for clay modeling i always use air hardening clay from creations this is a pack of 500 grams worth rupees 150 and third clay i use is terracotta clay and this is from sculpture dry this is also air dry clay and it weighs about 500 grams and it also costs around 150 to 160 rupees okay so these are the three types of clay you can use for your clay modeling and always remember to use air hardening clay air dry clay okay now friends i'm going to show you uses of each and every clay molding tools as well as clay modeling tools first of all friends i have taken a chunk of clay i'll place it use some talcum powder so that the clay does not stick to the surface and then using a cylindrical pencil I'll just roll the clay then apply a little bit of talcum powder on the top of the clay to get the smooth surface turn it and again do the same okay, select any of the tools so this is the first tool i'm selecting in this kit i have got 21 shapes of flowers three different sizes of leaf three different size of heart three different size of stars okay and these are the clay tools so first of all i'm going to use this tool i'll also apply a little bit of talcum powder on the top so it may not stick so this is how you have to use this flowering tool first of all we have to flat the clay then place it on the clay and then press it okay from all the sides and then press this button once and here it is then you can remove this extra clay slowly gently okay okay you can again reuse this clay as it is not dried up so this is the shape of flower we have got so we'll let it get dry in the same place as this is a plastic base i have used so that would be much more easier so this was the use of this flower i'll let it get dry and at the last i'll show you how would it look okay now again i'll do the same now i'll use the next punching this is a butterfly shape i'm going to use the biggest size place it on it press it i'll remove all the extra clay from the side and then punch it then gently remove it okay so here is the perfect butterfly shape we have got i'll keep it in the same way now i'm going to use the next shape of punching flower i'll punch it in this side with it i can do one more shape so i'll select a small leaf we can do one more shape here so i'm trying the star okay now it's time to remove the extra clay Okay, so the next shape I'm going to use is this flower and in this type of mold, you have to put this side down, okay? And this side is for holding and pressing. So, I'm placing it exactly where I want. Press it. Just remove the extra clay from any of the one side. Okay. Remove it gently. So, here is your flower. If friends you are getting worried about the unfinished touch so don't worry when this flower will get dry we can easily carve the shape which will come exactly 
as the mold okay the star shaped flower is the next shape we are going to use so i'll place it remove the clay from one side and here it is now i'll show you a big shape of leaf place it exactly punch it press the upper button and remove the extra clay from the side you have perfectly got a leaf shape. Friends, this is the next shape of flower we are going to use and this is also one more shape. I'll show you how these two different shapes look. And with that, I'll also show you how does the heart shape looks. This is a heart shape. I'll punch it on this side. There is some more place remaining. I'll punch one more. This is a cute little flower. Okay. So now we have to remove the clay. From one side, I'll start removing the clay. Okay, now I'm going to remove my tools one by one. If this kind of scene happens somewhere, you have to just use your any of the tools and take out the clay from the mold. Okay, now these ones come really very well. Friends, on a single chunk of clay, you can make different shapes accordingly if you place the molds properly. You can make different designs on same chunk of clay itself, okay? And you will get different designs in this way. Let them get dry and you can easily give them finishing touch. So here they are all. So friends, these are all the different shapes of flowers, leaf, butterfly, heart and star. You can make using these molding tools. Okay. So now I'll let it get dry and then I'll show you how these look. Okay friends, so now I'm going to show you the all the uses of clay modeling tools. The pink set I have got with the set of 46. Okay. And this is a separate set of 8. If you don't have this huge set, you can also simply use this ones. You can clearly see the size difference of both the tools. So both can be used efficiently. Tell you in reality friends, the use of these tools completely depends on your skill and how you make use in your paintings and clay modelings. First of all, I'll show you the different shapes which you can use for different kind of paintings. So I'll just flat my clay applying a little bit of talcum powder here so friends this is the first tool i'm going to show you this head shape is like a shell and this shapes like a blade okay so i called it blade and this is a shell shape it also has two sides this is a smooth side and this is a rough side so if you want to create a shell first of all of course you'll need to carve a shell simply carve a shell in my way and then here you can see this is the shape of the shell tool i'll apply it here put it here and press it in this way then put it here so in some way this tool gives you shape of shell and it will be used for making the shape of shell here you can see i'll just make an imprint of this one on the whole clay and here you can see this is how the imprint will come. Friends, I'll say you completely depends on you how you make the use of the tool. This is again a star shape. This is the first shape of tool so the second tool i'm going to show you is of this shape it has different curves and the next edge is smooth one is i can do different shapes of holes using this tool and second with this one also i can do different shapes of tool just with the shape of star more use of this tool i make is i make a chunk of clay first then apply some talcum powder all over this tool make a straight hole in this chunk of clay and cover the tool with this chunk of clay then i'll take out the tool holding the bottom of this clay gently and here you can see that we have got a very simple and beautiful shape of a flower and with the next end i just simply make this kind of design on ball okay 
round center on a round ball which is helpful in few of the designs uh, this is a tapered cone tool this has five stars and this one has four stars so in the same way you can also use it for making this kind of five star designs in the center of a flower or else you can make a four star design like this in the center of flower okay how you can do it is make a small chunk of ball and then just insert this five star tool you can observe that there is a very small and cute five star like flower in this it also looks like a berry it completely according to your requirement and this one friends it's completely a different tool I sometimes just flat my shape and roll it on my shape in this way so what happens is the bottom is thin and the top is thick then when I turn it I'll roll it from one side and this is how the shape you can create using this tool using the same tool you can make petals of roses and then again roll it you can clearly observe that this is thin and this size it's thick so thin is on the bottom and thick is here so in this way if you follow the same steps this will become a rose so this is the use of this tool and the end of it has this kind of structure you can also roll it on the surface of clay as we did with this one or else you can simply make this kind of holes designs with it circular designs with it so friends this is the next chunk of clay i have taken and this is quite an interesting one for this i'm going to use this tool this tool i hope you can see here this is this shape of tool and the end of it has this here the blue and white combination eight tools are the same exact same of the eight pink tools apart from that only five tools are extra and these are the five tools i'll explain you the use of this one is I think it's for carving this has a pointed edge so you can also do few holes using it and this has a square shape you can make square holes using it this one is a very useful tool this is very sharp pointed hook if you want to lift up the clay in some way you can use this one you can use it in many different ways as you like so this is it this is another one it also has a rectangular pointy edge this is one more i think that will help you creating some texture so we were on this tool and i'll tell you the uses of this one i'll use it to carve scales on this This tool is perfect for making this kind of carvings and then next side this is a bit zigzag. You can also use this zigzag for creating waves in this way. It will be very good. So these are all the clay modeling tools here you can see and different kind of shapes, textures and designs you can create using these tools and i'll also show you the clay models which we have done. A bigger flower. This is my favorite shape butterfly small flower these are also quite little cute flowers heart shape star shape once these get half dried up you can also mold it by holding it in this way for example if i want it want this flower to look 3d shape i'll just pull upwards or downwards the petals of flower or move it in the way i want before the clay dries up completely and this you have to do in the initial stage itself before the clay gets dried up so in the same way i have done for this flower and for the leaf also you can do the same just pick up the leaf and give it a curve as you want it to be or want it to look in upper direction or curve like this fold it 
okay so that will give quite a 3d effect i have done it in this way the star shaped flower small flower this one and this is also pretty this one i think small star heart shape and the cute little flower okay so these are the moldings which we have done when the clay gets dried up you will clearly get this kind of smooth clay structure so friends these are all the shapes and structures you can create using clay modeling tools please do tell me in the comments below how did you find this video friends and if you did like this video please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching